Okay, everybody, I decided today what I was going to show you as far as in my collection is my Kiku series. Now, there's a, a few of the uh, Kiku XRs. There's a, not a few. There's a couple of them that I gifted away a while back to a dear friend that's done a lot for me. Uh, so I gifted those. They come in several colors. We get into that. But let's start with uh, the ones that are most common now that you can get now. Uh, this is the Kiku XR. This is the natural linen. It has a stone wash. The linen on the, 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 the micarta is just incredible. This is Cryo CTS XHP. And look at there, it has the uh, logo of the skull, which y'all know I love. Fits great in the pocket. This one I actually carry once in a while. Okay, so this is the Kiku XR in uh, natural linen. This is still available, I believe. I'm going to set that right there. Y'all still see it? Yeah, we'll put it over here. Okay, now they have the, uh, they came out with G10 in several, in different colors. And like I said, I used to have the orange. Uh, I believe they had the red. Anyway, I had the orange and I get to that away. This is the gray. This is uh, the Kiku XR LTE G10 scales. Uh, it's a lighter weight. It's a uh, CTS XHP. Okay. And it is that XR system, that lock. You got your thumb hole opening, you got your flipper. And you got your XR Lodge, which is the one I prefer. But absolutely fantastic action. I love the color. I jumped on this right away. And this has the Kiku right there, the signature. He's such a nice, humble gentleman. A fantastic, world-known designer. Craftsman. He is a real craftsman in knife making. Matsudo Kiku. Just fantastic knife. So that's the gray. That's the LTE. Now, they have the blackout version. Uh, this was my favorite. This is the very first one I got. I jumped on it. This is my favorite Kiku right here. And look how that black is worn. I carry this quite a bit. This is CTS XHP Steel. There's your old logo. That's not dirt, that's wear. You can see the pocket clip worn. I carry this a lot. It's just a stout and it's heavy. Unlike the LTE went lighter, I prefer the heavy. I really do. It's just stocky. Look at the jipping. Look at the shape of that blade. It's locked in. Look at how I use, I've used it. Incredible. I've used it quite a bit. This is my favorite Kiku knife. How about that? It's one of my favorite folder knives of all brands. So I'm going to put that right there. I'm looking at this camera. I just went inside. I was going to do it inside. Uh, my wife's busy doing decorations, and I respect her time too as, as she respects my time she really went out for me but we'll talk about that later at shop talk okay here guys this is one that is available now i see it all the time on uh i think amazon ebay uh blade hq i, I i'm going to name those if, if they're still available but this is a very common sog knife and look i just love that it kind of reminds me of what i made yesterday you know it's a uh, linen micarta and just great snap action. Check out that blade. It almost has a harpoon shape. And there again is his signature. This is uh, Osage Steel, I believe. Check that out. That's a beautiful knife there, guys. And it's just a great size. True deep pocket carry. I like that see that go through cleanup. I love an open knife. It is a liner lock. Just a great, it's thumb stud opening. There's no flipper on it. 
and I carry this too quite a bit. It's just a really great size. So this is the Saw Kiku folding knife. We'll put that uh, right here. Can you see it? I want y'all to be able to zoom in at any time and check them out. Now this, folks, is a limited series. This is a uh, assisted opening, I believe. We're going to find out. This is a Kiku uh, assisted opening. Yeah, Kiku assisted. This is CPM S35VN steel. My car to scale, as you can see, I've carried this too. I love how black wears. I really do. I love black Micarta wear. Look at that deep pocket carry. This is a fine knife, folks. This is a limited series. Look at that snap. It has that same, look at that shape of that blade. Can y'all see the grinds from there? Maybe if I lower it down. There it is, Studies and Observation Group. Kiku Assisted CPM S35VN Steel. Black Micarta. This is number 125 out of 250. So yeah, I'm blessed to have gotten this. There you go. You see that? Look at that blade. Outstanding knife, really is. That's the Kiku Assisted. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here. You can look at that anytime, way over there, because I fixed to get into some uh, fixed blades. Okay, here is the Kiku. Let me see. I got notes here, guys. This is the Kiku fixed blade knife. And it's a medium sized knife. Comes in a nice Kydex sheath. Yes, it's Kydex. There's your SOG. Got your clip there. You can turn it either way. We're going to set that sheath out of the way. Check this out. I carry this, I still carry this one. Okay, this is VG10. Look at the serrations on that blade. Look at the thickness. Okay, I know some of you aren't fond of the shape blade or the grind, but I like it. I got several knives from several brands that have that shape and I love it. Uh, Mr. Uh, Masuda Kiku is just does it the best of anybody I know. Check it out. That's a uh, natural linen micarta. Look at the way he did that, it's full tang. You got your lanyard hole, just a perfect size. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And there again is the signature right there, VG10. You can see where I've used it. No, I haven't thrown it, I've just used it. So I'm gonna set that right there. What a beauty. I feel like carrying it tomorrow. I really do, my car to Monday. Okay, here's the blackout. Same sheath. They make fantastic sheaths, they do. Now, there's a little story behind this. When they first came out with this, I jumped on it. It was a, it's a limited series. I have number 242 out of 250. Let me turn it this way. See there? Now, here's the story. A lot of people were frustrated. That's my card of scales. This is the CPM S35 VN steel. Let me turn it this way. There you go. Absolutely beautiful knife. This is the blackout. Now the story with this, we all jumped on it. I'm part of the uh, SOG Army site on Facebook. And at that time in the good old days, we got kind of a heads up, it was gonna be launched. As soon as it was launched, I was able to snag it and I did. Limited series. Now here's the good news. This is still has value for me because it was the first run. Okay, people are disappointed. They go, well, it's a limited series. It's not a limited series because they re, uh, they're, they're rerunning it again. Well, it is because you got the first run. So if that makes you feel better. Okay, this is the blackout. And to be honest with you, I'm thinking about getting me another one of these to carry. Yep. Full tang, black micarta scales. You see how it's worn? That's just age, that's not worn. 
check that blade out oh yeah it's a gorgeous gorgeous knife and again you won't have the limited series but it's the same thing and i'm really thinking about uh if they maybe if they do it on sale between now and christmas i can uh jump in on it and pull the trigger and get it while i can because that is uh excuse my language that's just plain badass just one of my favorite knives favorite knives you hear me not just sock favorite knives so we're gonna set that right there okay this is out of circulation now uh, this is the sog large kiku comes in this really nice kydex sheath we turn it that way I never can tell you got this look how they did their sheaths I love it they did it better than anybody the little bell coasting drop it lower gets it out of your side heavy duty check that out okay here it is this is the kiku here i got my notes this is the kiku large fixed blade knife i don't know if you can see those grinds isn't that gorgeous this is a natural linen micarta I'm kind of pausing here a minute because I'm just in awe of it. Every time I pull out my knives uh, in my collection, I'm just so proud of them and I know why I bought them. I'm very fortunate. Check that out. Okay, let's read this. Let me kind of have it right here. See, I, I got notes. Okay, this is the Kiku, X, uh, Kiku Large fixed blade knife it's a drop point okay this is osage steel with a satin finish Hand in, handle is linen micarta has the kydex sheath this is made in taiwan um uh, yeah kiku masuda masuda kiku he's a really really nice humble man too I was able to uh, befriend him on uh, through the SOG Army site, my site, on Facebook, and my personal Facebook site. He is so nice. And he goes to these nice shows, man. And uh, he's one of the finest bladesmiths in the world. Very well known. Very famous. Look at that. Okay, guys. That is... <laughs> this is this could be in the grail this is in my uh this is in my top let me get in case y'all zoom in i want kiku's uh masuda kiku signature right there okay that's uh that's another video i wanted to do today i appreciate you uh, i hope you get to i hope this helped out again there's some of these that are available a lot of them are available some are uh are limited editions but you might be able to find them uh, Y'all take care and sog out.